I'm sorry, but the new me likes sleep more than Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Drew, and today's video that I have for you is in a different location. I'm actually at my parents' house right now filming this, um, so that's why this is not normal. This is my parents' room. Look at it. It's very nice, I think. I don't know. These are blankets. Nothing weird going on there. Um, so today I am giving you my three-month post-op uh, sleep gastrectomy journey update video. Um, yesterday was technically officially three months, but the reason I'm doing it today is because today was my three month um, post-op surgery visit, so I wanted to make sure that if I had anything knowledge-wise they brought from that, that I brought it here in today's video. So, um, today I'll start by telling you, so first off, there hasn't been a lot of changes so much when it comes to food and all of that. I'm pretty much eating um, anything that I want at this point. I don't say that like loosely to be like, I'm eating whatever I want, but because I am really focusing hard on eating within moderation that, um, and like stopping when my stomach gets full, that I am kind of eating a little bit more freely than I was pre-surgery. Now, not crazy, like I don't wanna say that and make it sound like I'm just like going crazy on food, but at the same time, like, I mean, I really, I haven't really been tracking, but I've still been losing weight. So today I'm officially down 175 pounds, which is really cool to say. So since surgery, I've lost 53 pounds. Um, there was potential I could have lost like, um, a pound a day, which would have been like 90 pounds, but I think 53 pounds in three months is like phenomenal and amazing. And I'm super happy with that progress and to be down officially 175 pounds is just amazing feeling and it's just like really, really beautiful and exciting. So a couple of things that happened in the last week. Um, so for New Year's Eve, I went out with some friends and you know, one of them was like, hey, do you want to try, you know, this drink I have? I haven't had alcohol like since surgery. I actually haven't had alcohol much since before surgery. And I was like, you know what, I'll try like a sip of it, see if I want to get something to drink. I tried one sip of alcohol, one, one sip of alcohol and um, it burned my esophagus. Yeah, I'm fine now, first of all, don't worry. But basically, I literally had one sip of alcohol. That night, I woke up with like horrible chest pain and heartburn, felt like I was like dying. And it's like, uh, the only thing that was different was the alcohol. So, um, that's kind of a thing where it's like, uh, they say like post-op that you might not be able to drink alcohol. And I think I'm one of those people that's not gonna be able to tolerate alcohol post-op, it's okay. I mean, I wasn't a big drinker before surgery, but that's something to think about if you're thinking about having surgery uh, and you are someone who likes to drink regularly, you may not be able to. So I'm just sharing that. Um, so today I met with my, um, I think it's these, uh, surgeon assistant and um, she kind of went over with me you know my three month update and everything um, they're happy with my weight loss they think I'm doing well I'm headed in the right direction um, kind of just impressed overall with my journey which was great the main things that they're talking about that they're kind of worried about with me um, they feel like I need to get in a lot more fruit and vegetables because they're like just because you're drinking the muscle milk the muscle milk is not actually giving you like the nutrition of like fruits and vegetables so we had to discuss ways for me to like get those more into my diet if you've been following me for a while you know that I am not a big vegetable person at all and I am allergic to a bunch of different fruits so we kind of talked in ways that I can kind of get those into my diet more um, another thing that she said she's kind of worried about with me is food boredom because I eat a lot of the same stuff over and over again especially like when I'm on my regular regimen during the week now when I go out to eat at restaurants you know I get what I want to get I eat a little bit and that's it but like when it comes to eating at home, I kind of eat similar foods every single day just because I don't eat much. So I'm like, what's the point of trying to like plan out these like extravagant meals when it's like this tiny little portion of food? So that's just kind of the thing there. The other thing she gave me today, which is really cool, and I wanted to mention this in case you are somebody who has gotten or is getting bariatric weight loss surgery, something that I didn't even know about. She gave me this cool little card um, that I can carry around with me now when I go to restaurants and tell them that I am a bariatric uh, surgery uh, patient and that the restaurant needs to allow me to order off of the kids menu this is like the super exciting thing because I go to restaurants and I feel like I'm just throwing money away like I like going out with people socializing going out to eat but because I make sure I stop eating when I'm full I don't eat much and it's basically like throwing money out the window um, I went if you guys are my snapchat fam you know I went out this past Sunday to a place called brunch and I got this beautiful plate of food, super huge, amazing, but like I ate like none of it. Like I showed Snapchat fam like when I came home, like almost all of it came back with me. And so like that's kind of irritating at times, you know, you go to restaurants, you get food and you're like expecting to eat it and enjoy it, 
but you know, you don't really get to enjoy it fully. So one thing that I've noticed is like, for me, I kind of just decided to be thankful those moments that I get to even enjoy, you know, trying this food. But what is hard is like, I'm a person, so I'll be real with you guys, like when I'm eating food, I, I can handle like knowing that I can't eat all of it, but I want to know when I'm up to like my last bite so I can really like get the right bite on that fork and enjoy it. So the thing that I have a hard time with with bariatric surgery is like you don't always know when like that last bite is coming. So you kind of can't plan that last bite. Like a month or so ago, I remember I was out um, at the Mall of America with like my family and um, like I was, visit I was visiting people and I was there with like my sister and stuff and I think I had gotten like uh, Qdoba and I had like this bowl of food and it was really tasty and great and then suddenly like fullness hit me. And I was super bummed because I had this like perfect spoonful left that I was like, this is gonna be your last spoonful, you're gonna enjoy it and then you're gonna be done. And I'm sitting there and I'm like waiting like 10 minutes, you know, longer than I had already finished eating, like hoping that like a little spoonful of space would open up. And then I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, just why, why, why are you worried about a spoonful of food? And then I just like said, skip it, you know what I mean? But it's kind of one of those things that like, that's something that's still kind of hard for me at times, like being like, okay, you're done with food now, be done, you know? And not like finishing food, but like knowing ahead of time so that I can really enjoy it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, this kind of, I feel like went on a little bit of a weird tangent. Um, so another thing this month that, I, well, something for the month of December, and I, saying this but please know I'm not saying this to like insinuate anything at all I did not get my period in the month of December um I spoke to the doctors about it today and basically they had mentioned that it's probably because my body um is kind of like going through shock because I've lost so much weight like I've lost in the last like year um I've lost like around 150 pounds you know what I mean within like one year or time alone so like they're like your body's probably like trying to re-regulate because when I first had surgery I got my period and then I like got it again like two weeks later and then it was like longer and I'm sorry I'm not trying to be gross with details but I'm just being honest with you guys um so they said if it like continues to like not come that I probably need to speak to you know my uh, gynecologist just to see what's going on there see if it's anything to be concerned about and just mention the fact that I've lost all this weight and see if that has any factor to it because usually they're like a lot of people actually get their periods heavier after having surgery but for some reason this month I did not get one but I am someone who was kind of irregular in the first place again I am absolutely not with child right now, but I did want to mention that because I do like to share the side effects of surgery with you guys, especially because I know a lot of you are on this journey or on your way to this journey, or you just want to hear about my journey, okay? So that's where we're at. Sorry, I'm looking now because I have a list of things. because There was like a few things this month or week or I don't know. Okay, cal calm down. Hold on. Um, so that's actually like everything on my list except for one more thing. So um, we talked about this thing called popcorn. Uh, our video last time was popping. I don't know. I'm so like excited um, And you guys want to know if we would do it Well, I asked you guys we want a popcorn giveaway and like overwhelming amazing response to the popcorn giveaway idea So here is the popcorn giveaway deal. I will put together an epic popcorn giveaway I'm really excited to do so because you know I just love you guys and like anything that like makes you guys happy like makes me happy and popcorn makes me happy So you guys be happy about popcorn. And I'm just getting super excited about it. Anyways, so here's the deal with the popcorn giveaway uh, You may have noticed that uh, if you or you may not have noticed but I have um, I've always had my subscriber count privatized on my channel um, That was you know I had spoken to friends before and kind of you know early on people had said you know It's something you maybe want to do when you're like a beginner youtuber And some of it was because I wanted people when they subscribe to my channel make sure they were subscribing because of me And not because of like my subscriber count I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys It's just like I wanted people you know if they're in the just like Drew crew that they're here just to be in the crew You know what I mean not because like they're like oh you have so many subscribers or like oh you don't have them You know what I mean it's just I didn't want it to be about that I wanted to be like you know we're just we're a little family because we're a family. So um, my amazing friend, I actually spoke about her yesterday. She's getting a shout out two days in a row. I don't even know if she's gonna notice, but my amazing friend, Simply Marvelous, did an awesome, uh, she started a new segment on her channel called Tea Time and she talked about how she had her subscriber account hidden and how she decided to unhide her subscriber account and she kind of inspired me to unhide mine as well. And just like, if it's really not about the numbers then it doesn't matter and so I've 
unhidden my subscriber count and there is over 900 of us amazing just like drew crew members and so here's what we're gonna do with the popcorn giveaway once we hit 1,000 subscribers 1,000 I feel like we could do it so soon um, we will be doing an epic popcorn giveaway of massive beautiful poppy proportions so that's, um, yeah, so we will do a popcorn giveaway once 1,000 subscribers are hit. Like I said, we are like so close to that, which is also just amazing. Like, I love you guys, the support you've given me. Like, I started this channel on Leap Day last year, so to be close to 1,000 subscribers, my goal was to hopefully get 1,000 subscribers in the first year. That's just amazing. So yeah, as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, popcorn giveaway, but like good popcorn. Y'all know Drew's got your back with the, like the good good of the popcorn. Um, otherwise, that is all I have. Oh, wait, sorry, no, I'm looking at my list. Oh, I forgot to mention like two things. So um, I will say like my heartburn overall, I know I've talked about this in the past, is better, but I do feel like it does randomly flare up at times. So like with like the one sip of alcohol, it flared up really, really bad. And then um, other times, you know what I mean? It seems to come with different foods, but it's not so bad. And I should mention that when I did have that super pounding heartburn moment, um, the way that I had to calm it down, I had to have like four gas X strips, which are like the like dissolvable, like minty gas X strips. I had, I like sucked on a cough drop cause I was like something to cool down my throat. And then I, um, it was like 5 a.m. or something like that. So I took like my acid reflux medicine early and then sipped water. And then like about like almost like half an hour to an hour later, I was able to like subside the pain. So I just wanted to mention that, like that's what I had to do to kind of subside that as well because it was really, really extreme. And also like you kind of have to be careful because with having the surgery you can't just you know do whatever to solve you know the problem and then the other thing I wanted to mention so since starting all of this like weight loss everything I have dropped a total of 26 points in my BMI and that is amazing and super fa fa fantastic I don't know what I'm saying whatever I don't care and so yeah that that was really cool to me to like find out that I've dropped 26 BMI points I feel like that is something that just feels so good. I dropped, like, I don't know. It's just, that's an awesome, awesome feeling. And um, it's New Year's, obviously. I've been going to the gym since New Year started. The first day back at the gym, I won't lie, like, for the new year, it was kind of terrifying. There were so many people, and like, I get it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I am like the biggest supporter of like making healthy lifestyle changes, but it was like insane. Like, there was like no free workout machines. Like, it got to the point where like, I literally would have to like finish on one machine, and if somebody got up from one, jump to another machine that I wanted <laughs> so that I wouldn't miss out using on a machine. So, like, I mean, it was kind of crazy, and it was kind of funny at the same time because like, I've always been like the New Year's resolution person. Like, I'm gonna hit the gym for two weeks and then out so it was kind of crazy that like I um you know was the person who was like a regular at the gym was like who are all these people I don't know it was just kind of it was very interesting being on the other side of that for the first time in my life because I was always the new year new me like offender and I don't mean that like I said to be mean like if you are like taking new years to like make a life change please do it stick to it keep going but I was the person who like I would start it and like by January 3rd I was like whoa I'm sorry, the, the new me like sleep more than the new fit me. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm making it to the gym, I've been doing it, I'm excited, I'm pumped. I actually hope, you know, new people, that some of them stay on. I mean, well, obviously you want everyone to stay on, but you know what I'm saying, like I want it to even out though, so it's not as busy. But that's all I have for you guys today. But if you want to see more photos of me or hear more about my weight loss journey, you can check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, just like Drew spelled the same way it is down below. If you want to see photos of me, I said that. This is getting bad. Why do I keep repeating myself? If you want to be a part of the Just Like Drew crew, you're not already, because you might want a popcorn giveaway. And I promise you it's good popcorn. Like, girl, I would not, I would get, I get you the good, good. I got you. Okay. If you want to be a part of the Just Like Drew crew, you're not already for popcorn giveaways or anything else, or to help us get to 1,000 subscribers, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and join our forever family, because we're literally the best crew around, because anybody and everybody can be in our crew. I love you guys so much. Um, I honestly feel like I just want to keep talking, because I want to keep talking to you guys, because... My videos were light for like a couple weeks and I just honestly have missed you guys. And I also want to say that like, I love you guys. So seriously, like 
I posted a video last night. If you were wondering if you, I know we had talked about me doing a Christmas present haul. I did post that last night. I did not like really do any advertising. Like I mentioned on Snapchat that it was going up. I never even told you guys it was officially up. And the video like already had a bunch of views. Like I hadn't even, I didn't even watch the video until later today because I've like been so busy. Like it's crazy. Like I just love you guys. Like your support is amazing. It blows my mind. You guys just like Drew Crew is like the best crew around. So. I love you guys. Uh, I'll probably be back in the next day or two with another video. I actually got um, a cool new product that I've been dying to show you and do a video on, so we have to do that. Um, anyways, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Otherwise, if you like this video and you want to see more from me, you know what to do. Just like Drew, have an amazing day, have an amazing week, have an amazing life. And uh, yeah, three months. I can't even believe it. It's been three months. I feel like I'm, I just can't. And what a wild journey it's been. I will talk to you guys so stinking soon. I love you. Uh, popcorn. Let's do this. Let's get there. Okay. Bye. 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 We actually still have some of these too. You get to test out 15 different fragrances. So all these ones on the cover here, okay? It costs $65. But here's the thing, okay? Before you're like, why would you pay?